Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 17th of 2019. Well, it is titled water vapor discovered on distant exoplanet. So if you keep an eye on the space news, this is one of the things that has been uh, past, going around the news over the last few days. And this is a exoplanet that has been discovered or was previously discovered as part of the Kepler program. Now the Kepler spacecraft looked for transits when a planet would pass in front of its star and cause its light to dim slightly. And this planet would pass in front of its star and would would cause its light to dim and we were able to detect it and determine its orbital properties. And that then gave us uh, finally a chance to see that there was a signature of water vapor there. Now of course that is a really important thing when we're looking for life. So when you're looking for life you want to have we look for things like water we look for planets that are Earth like. And if we look at the planet here uh, as shown in the artist conception on the right hand side here is the planet. This is something that is what we call a super Earth much larger than the Earth. In fact, nearly three times the diameter of the Earth and almost nine times its mass. Now, interestingly enough, because the size and the mass are both so much larger, the gravity on this planet really wouldn't be that much more than gravity on the Earth, about 20% more. So if you were to land and walk on this planet, you would feel a little heavier pull, but it would not be a crush pool you'd weigh about 20% more than you do on our Earth. It also orbits very close to its star. It's only about half less than half closer to almost a third the distance of Mercury. So it orbits very close and therefore very quickly making one orbit around the star in about a month. So we've learned some of the things about this but the biggest important was the detection of water vapor in its atmosphere. Now we honestly cannot see the planet as is shown here. This is an artist's conception which is based on the data that we know. So we take what is known and an artist will draw what we think this then might be like based on the best evidence. Now the star itself is off to the uh, lower left here. This is what we call a red dwarf star much smaller than our own sun. And that is why this planet would be considered habitable even though it orbits so close. If, if we had something orbiting this close to our own sun, it would be uninhabitable like Mercury. Uh, this star is about half the sun's temperature, about half its luminosity and half of its mass. So it's a very cool star by comparison. So you have to orbit much closer to have a significant uh, amount of t high enough temperature in order for water to actually exist. Now does liquid water exist on the planet here? That's still a good question and we do not know that we just know that we've gotten the signature of water vapor in its atmosphere and we can see that when the planet passes in front of its star and we when we're looking at the starlight through the planet's atmosphere we see the distinctive signature of water vapor but what is actually on the surface of the planet is still a good question although this planet is what is called in what is called the habitable zone meaning that liquid water could exist on the surface surface. It's at that right range of temperature as much as the Earth is within our own solar system. Now the other object pictured here, you can see one more small object in between these two here. And that is the a possible sister planet. There's possibly another planet in there orbiting even closer to the star than this one. And that would be another possible planet. However, its existence has not yet been confirmed. We have some evidence for it, but we haven't had enough evidence to be able to confirm and call it one of the now 4000 exoplanets that we have discovered outside of our solar system. So 
Here what we're seeing really some of the big news is there life on this uh, planet that's still a wide open question we have no way to be able to know that we could of course send them some sig some signals but this uh, planet is 124 light years away meaning if we send it a signal today in 2019 then they are not going to get that until 124 years later or not until the year 2143. And if we wait for a reply from them, it'll be 2267 before we would get that reply back. So it takes a lot of time to be able to communicate. And that depends on there being a civilization there that could detect such a signal and reply. Had someone sent us a radio signal 124 years ago, we would not have had the technology to be able to detect it and to reply. So you have to have a certain level of technology to be able to communicate over interstellar distances. So while it's possible there could be life there, it may not be something that we could ever communicate with. And of course, the distances to travel interstellar uh, distances uh, is not something that we really have right now. So that was our picture of the day for September the 17th of 2019. It was titled Water Vapor Discovered on Distant Exoplanet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be lightning up. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.